This is Williams155, your favorite Triumph Rider from Triumph675.net. Hope you guys had a good winter. It's time to start back. First video of the year, how to change a tire. There's Little Red, how you like her? A little painting on the bottom this winter, make her look a little better. Boy, she's beautiful and she's still fast, let me tell you. We're gonna take the front wheel off the off we're gonna take the front wheel off the bike. Uh, we're gonna take the front wheel off the bike, take the tire off of it, put another one on. Here's how you do it. Hope you like it. Woo! Okay. The first thing you need to do when changing a tire on your motorcycle is, as any brain surgeon would know, removing the front wheel. So let's see if we can get this front wheel off. Help me out here. I think we did it. The wheel's off. Now let's see what we can do with the... I told you it was unedited. Now let's see what we can do with the tire and getting it off. We are here inside my trailer. And looky there. The wheel is here. Y'all did a great job helping me get that off. Now, before we get started with getting the tire off the wheel, I want to go over with you the essential tools needed to get this job done. The one most essential thing every tire changer needs is a good set of pajama bottoms. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to have those on. Hold on, just bear with me just a second. Okay, I feel much better. Now let's see if we can get this tire off. Give it up for Shane X-Man. Okay, here we are. First thing we want to do, get the tire situation, situated nice and easy on the top of the camber blocks here. It's just sitting on top of them. Uh, we've got to break the bead on the tire first. So, the first thing we want to do is get um, the bead breaker uh, excuse out. Excuse me, Mr. Williams, but did you by chance remember to take the air out of the tire? Of course I let the air out of the tire. Okay, first, let's get you guys a little closer up so you can see. Just ignore him. Okay, so now we got the tire on the camera box. Let's break the bead on this puppy. Basically, you just put the bead breaker up against the rim and the tire. Give it a good push, and the bead is broken. And basically, do that all the way around the tire on both sides. Okay, now that we've got the bead broken on both sides, we want to take our little whatchamacallits and basically lock these puppies in at 2, 6, and about 10. That test helps relieve pressure on the tire so when you flip it over to, be, to pull the bead over the rim on the other side, it gives, gives, makes it a little easier and, and releases some of the pressure. So the next thing you want to do, flip the tire and put it, lock it into the camber blocks. And once you get the wheel pulled down very easily, you can see how it fits here. Uh, the camber block goes up, the rim goes down, into the, sits into the camber block. It does that in all three camber blocks. And in the locking camber block, once you get the rim put down in all three, you just rotate the camber block, rotate it nice and tight, to lock the wheel in place and that puppy ain't going anywhere while you take the wheel off. The next thing you do once you get the wheel locked into place, uh, of course you got to have your no more lube. Every lot, everybody loves a good lube. So, make sure you spray the, the bead of the tire. Try to get it down in there good so that the D-mount bar can slide easily and pull the tire up over the rim. Now, once you've got the lube on, It's just a matter of sliding the thing. It's just a matter of working it behind the bead, pulling it up and over the rim. Bring your bar over for leverage. Drop it inside the wheel hole, and now just pull, whoa, that was easy, just pull the tire right off the rim. Okay, now all that's left to do is get the bottom bead out from around the wheel, 
So what we need to do, of course, is to remove our bar from leverage, just slide it out of the way. Now this bead's a little harder to get to, especially for me. I am dealing with some cramped quarters in here, so uh, my D-mount bar is just a little bit taller than my roof. So I have to really kind of work at some angles to try to get this thing on. Once I do, I lower the bar back down in there. Move your bar around for some leverage. And voila, you now have a tire off the rim. Now you need to make sure you have your Nomar tire mount lubricant. Good for all kinds of jobs. You want to make sure that uh, the tire is on correctly uh, since it is a directional tire. Now, being that that's the case, that's the right way to put it on. Now, the first thing we want to do, get the paste out. You want to take some paste, wipe it just like this around the edge of the bead of the tire, go all the way around on both sides, and do the same thing just under the lip of the rim right here. This gives the, the bead something to slide against when you're, when you're mounting it, and go all the way around the tire. Okay, now that I've got my lube on, you should be able to force the first bead down around the rim just by simple pushing it, and the first bead is on. The next thing you want to do is basically walk the top bead onto the tire from about 3 or 4 o'clock position on around to about the 9 or 10 o'clock position. As far as you can go, you'll go a certain distance and it'll start to walk with you on this other side. So walk it as far as you can. Once you do that, Grab your mount D-mount bar. We are going to use the uh, double side this time around. It's got a little bit of grease on it already. You'll feel it lock into place as you drop it into the tire. Bring your bar down for leverage. Now it does try to walk with you, so you got to be very careful here. Holding it with your left hand. Bring the bar around. Switch hands, walk it with your hip, I like big butts and I cannot lie, you other brothers can't deny, and when a girl walks out, and the tire is on, sorry for a little butt shot there. Okay, now all we have to do is get air in the tire, don't forget first thing you have to do is unlock the, the counter box, pick the wheel up, and just let it rest, let the wheel itself rest up on the box. Otherwise you'll never get air in the tire. Once you do that, hook up your compressor, start pumping air. You can see the tire, I don't know if you can or not, you'll hear it pop into place in here in just a second. There it went. Now we've got air in the tire, and now off to the static balancer. And that's it. Tire Changing 101. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it was informative. Hope you can use it in the future. Next, the sequel, Tire Changing. The Balancer. Hope you guys enjoy that as well. It's coming up right after this in theaters near you. Here's the ad. See ya. The story of a rogue tire that has to endure the abuse brought on by his high-speed lifestyle. Being made to conform and work in perfect harmony with the wheel he has come to despise. Don't miss this chilling sequel to The Tire Changer. Enter the world of the balancer. We'll sell you the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge.